let's get straight into our video. We're going to react to this video and let's watch it for ourselves. Are you guys ready? <laughs> عن يحضيه ابن عبد الودود عن محمد بن محمد سالم المجلسي عن حامد بن عمر عن الفقيه الخطاط عن القاضي بن علي بن الصباعي عن شيخ الشيوخ الفاضل بن ابي الفاضل الحسني عن علي الازهوري عن البرهان العرقمي عن جلال الدين عبد الرحمن بن ابي بكر السيوطي. So you see, as the Sheikh's going along, yeah, you, you were talking about possibly when I say in every century there's a name because obviously there was maybe in that century you would have maybe two three people living. But you can see where it's going, and, he's, and if I'm mistaken, it's quoting from his teacher. That's from his teacher, and going all the way back to the Prophet. This is our religion. Watch this. Zakaria al Ansari, Ali Hafiz, Ali Abdul Fadl, Ahmed ibn Ali ibn Hajar al Asqalani, Ali Ibrahim al Tunuki, Ali Ahmed ibn Abi Talib al Hazar, Ali Abdul Waqt al Abdul Awwal ibn Isa Sayyidi, Ali Hussein ibn. Subhanallah. The only thing I memorize is probably a recipe how to make a milkshake. Uh, that's why we need to sign up to Surat Seminary, brothers and sisters. But let's carry on watching. This is interesting. Barak on Abdul Rahman ibn Muhammad al Dawudi, on Abdul Allah ibn Ahmed al Sarqsi, on Muhammad ibn Yusuf ibn Matari al Jabri. Right here, he's going up to Bukhari. So he's uh, quoted a chain going all the way back to Bukhari. So we're talking about maybe two, three centuries after the Prophet's death. Yeah. Now he's quoting that from his Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. Narrated to us. Boom. So. Everything that is quoted, the chain of transmission going all the way that, down to Bukhari and from Bukhari. So there is specific chains in Bukhari where the chain is like very short. There's two to three people between Bukhari, when Bukhari may have mercy on him, and the Prophet peace be upon him. Some of them, I think they refer to this as a golden chain. Yeah. Okay. So basically, there's three people in between them. And what was the hadith? So now he's mentioned the chain and he's mentioned the hadith. What's the hadith? This is very important, guys. <laughs> The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever says upon me that which I did not say, then let him take his seat in the fire. So before he quoted this hadith, which is very popular, he quoted the whole chain. We learn a couple of things from this. Number one, the Prophet ﷺ has narrated that anyone that says something that the Prophet didn't say, intentionally let him take his place in the fire. Wait, 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 Mr. Ali Dawa. According to your most trusted sources that you just mentioned, if anyone lies against the Prophet of Islam, let him take his seat in hellfire. But according to the most famous and trustful Imams and scholars in Islam, like Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Ahmed ibn Hanbal, and An Nisa'i, they said, Hafs is not to be trusted, he is a liar, and all of his hadith is matrug i.e rejected what did your golden chain what did your most famous of famous hadith say about someone who lies against the prophet mr ali Dawa, what did you say again Prophet has narrated that anyone that says something that the prophet didn't say Intentionally let him take his place in the fire because you're lying against the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But wait, are you telling me that all of you Muslims who are using the recitation of Hafs for the Quran, all of you are reading a recitation of a guy who, according to your golden chain and most authentic hadith, he is in hellfire because he lied against the Prophet. Why did he lie against the Prophet of Islam? Because all of his hadith is rejected and he is called a liar. Muslims, you need to wake up. The Quran that you now have in your masjids and mosques and in your houses is from a man, i.e. Hafs, who is now, according to your most trusted hadith he is in hellfire wake up muslims this is how to deal with the quran of hafs we just destroyed the hafs quran in couple of seconds
Wasallam has narrated that anyone that says something that the Prophet didn't say intentionally let him take his place in the fire because you're lying against the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 